Well, hello, hello Melinda's. Melinda's. How you doing? Welcome to the show. Hello, Melinda's. Welcome to VCR Party. My name's Joe. This is Nick. George is directing today. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going over there, George? Did you set up the uh, Red Robin camera? The Red Robin. Uh... No, I did not. Okay. What's that going to be? The, well, there, no, there's a there's a camera attached to the iPad that he can oh. play himself, <laughs> Where, but, but it shoots right up from the shoots right up the nostrils, and he doesn't want. He says it's unflattering. So yeah, I don't like know. me in the photo of me at Red Robin. Yeah, welcome everybody. Here's the show where we watch uh, VHS tapes for the first time ever. Today is the first day that we're ever going to watch a VHS tape. Uh, well, there, that's partially true. Not not a VHS tape, but this is the second um, annual uh, unboxing episode. Mm. So. We have, uh, we're going to watch a bunch of tapes that we haven't watched before. It's an before. annual thing that we do? Well, we did it last year. This is the second year. Okay. So, um, and generally, That's this, cool. is, this is kind of like our clip show or like one of those bottle episodes where everybody gets locked in a freezer and, you know, it's like where the writers are tired uh -huh. and so they just show clips. Right. This is us not really preparing that much. Well, also, you might notice that we're missing a certain rejuvenique here, too. That's true. A little hint of something else that could happen in this in this episode. We got some surprises cooked up. Exactly. They won't necessarily be great surprises, but they'll be <laughs> surprises. And I have allergies, so I kind of sound weird right now. I'm very allergic to mold, and there's a high mold count in the air right now. So I'm going to be. This whole episode could be a Joe's filth corner. You You're know, right. Maybe you should just like tune out now. No, because I am going to be blowing my nose. I have a roll of paper towels right down here. Okay. I'm going to be blowing my nose. I'm probably going to be looking at it <laughs> after I, uh, you know, you blow. Yeah. And do you do you do that? I don't look no. You really don't? No, I don't look at my, after I blow my nose, I just throw but away the tissue. it's your own filth. I know, I'm not interested in it. Unless it's like, I'm wondering if I have a bloody nose, I'm not going to look. George, do you look at, after you blow your nose, do you look at it? I look at it when Joe or Nick blows his nose. For, for real though, <laughs> do you really? I always do. You always do? Yes. Of course, that's because you're a human being. Well, he's got his um, sneezing gloves that he puts on <laughs> to uh, hold the tissue and... <laughs> Um, hey, I should mention that we're pre-taping, uh, you probably t noticed this, but um, we, uh, we're going to be doing some traveling over the next couple of weeks, so the, this week and the next week's show will be pre-taped, but one thing's going to be live, and that is going to be the reveal of the costume VCR contest. Party Costume Contest yeah. winner. Um, when are we going to do that? Uh, it'll be... Can we do it right now? No, no, we'll, we'll do, do it at, at, the at the end of this first segment, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well... Do you have so, something you well, want to no, start I wanna, with? I wanna, so I was looking around because I wanted to see if I could get better from my allergy thing. So I decided to um, put up this, uh, watch this allergy prevention video, and I'll just play a little bit of it for this you. This isn't a tedium corner. No, but we will be doing some tedium pretty soon. Stick around for that. Okay. But this one's kind of tedious. The only reason I in included this one is because I like the name of this allergy medication. Oh, okay. This is like sponsored. Makes life yep. miserable. It turns wonderful things like flowers and pets into biological weapons. In the past, you had few options in dealing with allergies. You could live in a strictly controlled environment or, kill or take medications that often cause side effects nearly as bad as the allergy symptoms themselves. But now there's a treatment called nasal crown. <laughs> it's remarkably safe and has virtually no it sounds like a effects. transformer. Yeah. It's not hard to use, but it's different from treatments you may have it's used in the past. It's way too close. We don't need that use extreme Use it three or four time. times a day, like every the, day, whether you have symptoms or not. Stool it's, with the and you can it's actually very prevent Spartan. nasal allergies. He also because is wearing a real billowy so shirt. He's a skinny guy. We've made to help you use it effectively. Oh. Well, behind the scenes. actually prevent your allergies from ever starting, year in and year out. Oh, look at the editing. That's the editing program I still use. All right, so that's nasal crumb. Wow. All right, well, let's start off... Uh, I don't formally, know if it exists anymore. with uh, a, a uh, found footage festival classic, we do the show, the found footage festival, and I'm going way back into the archives for the classic tonight. This is from volume one of the show back in 2004. Okay. Uh, we toured with this, um, and I believe it was part of, I don't know, a kids a montage of kids videos. Yeah. We kind of outgrew kids videos. I think when you're first collecting, 
like it's really funny to watch kids' videos, and then you're kind of like, yeah, they're all ridiculous. Yeah. So I we know. and they're we're not the demographic either. You know what I mean? Well, it's right. Like, it's it's intentionally dumb it down to like for kids. And, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, but like there's no denying that this is pretty great. This this tape is called oops. This tape is called Strong Kids oops, Safe Kids. Let's <laughs> drop one. And this you can see has a little sticker on it that says special interest. Mm -hmm. um, which is what you'd get for, f I think this is like a section in the video store that a lot of times would be for free because it was educational. This particular one was a seven day rental and it stars Henry Winkler, John Ritter, a bunch of other people and uh, some of your favorite cartoons. And they were all teaching you about strangers and what a bad okay. touch was. They're all doing their best and uh, they're trying to do a good thing here. But some of it just seems kind of hilariously dated. Yeah. So uh, th there's one part in here that you haven't seen before, unless oh, yeah. you watch this whole tape. I've so never watched the whole I, tape. I included some new stuff in All here right. for uh, diehards. This is Strong Kids, Safe Kids. Safe Kids! Hey, would you listen to that beautiful chorus of voices? Thanks, kids. And now I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine. We're almost flesh and blood, you know? Mr. Henry Winkler. Hey, take a bow, Henry. Hi, I'm very glad to see you. That's so lavender. <laughs> and I'm very glad to see you. And I'm very glad to see you. It's funny, you. Oh. A person that you don't know. You're right. Boy, am I proud of you. Hey, baby pack. Listen, you edit? No. if a ghost came to you and said, just follow me into the woods and I'll give you an entire packet of power pellets, would you go? <laughs> And if you were in the woods there and he said, I got a map for a mountain of power. Doesn't know where his uh, eye line is. No. Would you go? No. Yes, that is the right answer. That's the right answer. I, you had me worried there for a minute, you know? <coughs> All right, good. You're cool. All right. Baby pack. It's important what? to know what the real names are for things, even if you don't use them all the time. Penis oh, yeah. is what boys have down in front. Penis is the word, though it seems George, can you play this? All boys have a penis, so no matter what yes. you've heard, remember that penis is the proper word. Vulva is what girls have down below. No one calls Even it that. Even though most people call it vagina, and some children call it Virginia. It's like a Charles Nelson O'Reilly character. When she's naked, it will show. All girls have a vulva, so no matter what you've heard, remember that vulva is the proper word our anus is a useful thing indeed the anus gives relief in time of need we all have an anus so no matter what you've heard remember that anus is, is the, the proper, proper word. word so don't be appalled because that's what they're called and don't each of them call them balls proper word for private parties <laughs> This All right, so wow. that's a uh, that's a little bit more from Strong Kids Safe George, Kids. George, I want to do an episode where you're on and you just play like songs, the hits from, because you did that at the at the open house and it was a lot of fun. And now if you just do like if you play the hits, you play that song, you play the Anus song, the Vulva song. And I'll the, do a lot of things and I won't you do sing those songs. Midwest <laughs> Hemorrhoid Treatment I'll sing Center. Sing that because that's a classic. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Tammy Bailey, Dentistry. Of course. Yeah. But you won't do this song. You won't do the penis vulva. No, it's anus? beneath me. Oh, really? What? Yeah, I have standards. Oh. Wow. You have fun with hemorrhoid treatment. But, but not that... a song about anuses. <laughs> I mean, what? Let's, let's define I'm a complicated limits. character. <laughs> um, yeah, George, you don't have enough to do. I thought that might be a fun uh, project for you, you know. All right. All right. You're psyching uh, okay. on the job. All right. Let's, uh, do you want to get tedious? Sure. Let's get tedious. Let's, uh, let's roll get that, tedious. Roll that graphic. Let's get I think tedious. it's up there, yeah. Let's get tedious in here. First time Oh yeah? You want me now? Let's get to the beat. You're okay talking over it now. Um, Alright, what do you think of it? Where is it happening right now? Uh, I'm gonna say that TV is slowly making its way out. From which way? Right. From which way? Right. Um, right to left. You never get it. You never get it. You just always say the opposite of what you think it's right. Break it up! Oh, that was the opposite. <laughs> no, just like... But okay, just say back. something different than what you... Okay. Done. <laughs> yeah, I'll never get it, and I really don't care that I'll never get it. So what do you got for tedium cooked so up So my new, my new thing... So I, I was looking at this one that was like... 
I don't know, some sort of like at home educational system. It was really boring, but I'm just kind of tired of those right now. Yeah. What I want to relive right now is uh, home movies and specifically oh. Doris Johnson. I want to find the next Doris Johnson. The birthplace of tedium, really, home movies. It really is. So uh, Ross from St. Louis sent this. We uh, just opened up a package over there and he sent a bunch of stuff. This one's 2002 September trip to Wisconsin, Glenda, Kathy, and Kasia. Kasia. So Okay. Or Cassia. I don't know. All right. C-A-S-S-I-A. Okay. And um, I popped it in, and I didn't have to wait long. The tedium had <laughs> the set the thing. in. The thing with home movies, nobody knew what to do with the camcorders. No. They, they just had always no had idea. them on. They're they, burning tape. It was so cheap. no clue. They yeah. just turned them on, and they're just like, all right, everybody, let's kind of ramble for a little while. Right. And then, well, you'll see what he, what he finds to videotape okay. here. Tuscola. Oh, Tuscola. A rock? Tuscola, Illinois. Tuscola, Illinois. We're driving out to Wisconsin. How oh, you get out of here? We're at an outlet mall. Plus, it's a good line. Why well, you jump the... There, there's the Tuscola, Illinois. Factory stores. Mm -hmm. Tommy Hilfinger. <laughs> Tommy Hilfinger. That's a Jeffrey Bean. Jeffrey Bean? Is that like L.L. Bean? Nah. Clothing. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is they're, tedious and boring. There's, there's, there's more tedium than. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, oh I. This, that was, daddy's car is there. Oh, Chrysler LeBaron? Yeah, here it is. I thought that was going to be it. I don't know. But. I was going to guess Squirrel. I honestly was. Well, it has an acorn. I wonder. <coughs> I'll bring this up in a second. That's his part. <laughs> like sees that he's being videotaped. Yeah. yeah. This is the country station. Call him Tommy Hilfinger, Grand Squirrel. No, nothing to take. What? 55 on Tuesday morning. Yep. We're fixing to leave. Pams. And champagne. And we head north to Lake Geneva and on into uh, Wisconsin. Where? With them trees. Should be. Kathy's mom's oh, this afternoon. We're going to Kathy's mom's this afternoon. We're going to do some more tape in Lake Geneva and whatever we happen to see along the way. You won't want to see that. See ya. <laughs> oh, we did the fade out. Yeah, I don't know what's coming up next. I'm just okay. Gonna oh, more. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you found the yeah, squirrel. We found him. <laughs> uh, you might as well play the excitement corner jingle now because we found the squirrel. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great video. This has it all. We got Tommy Hilfinger. We got a squirrel. We got this isn't that the time of day. We got. He's trying to comment. Comment. Yeah, he has nothing, nothing to say. To say. No. Oh, he faded. It's always old suspension. Iron bridges are about history. Oh, oh I, I can't wait. For yeah, more there's more. Yeah. Yeah. The I'm guy kind of thinks he's funny, it seems like, too, sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, he's well, a good host. That yeah. was a good, yeah. yeah. We'll probably be watching more of that because that's, that's kind of my new thing is, is uh, I, home movies. Yeah, probably. I like going back to the home movie well. There's a lot of tedium there. Uh, let's, let's get to a next excitement corner. George, roll it. Just sitting there. And I'm saying for there. that squirrel over there. Cold steel proof. Sing for this a was memory. still in the shrink wrap when I found it. Uh, but this is the prequel to a video we've played in uh, one of our first shows, More Proof. Uh, and it's Cold Steel, this guy who... I don't think I've ever seen this one. Yeah, I You took either. it out of the shrink just for, yes. this, for watching this? I did, for oh, Slaven Corner. Yeah. 
Cold Steel is a knife company. They make weapons and blades and stuff. And uh, the host is pretty adorable. Oh, George, you got to track down this host. Yeah, and uh, it's in California, I think. And uh, so he's like, hey, let's prove how awesome our knives and how sharp they are. And uh, we'll do that through having me and the boys do a bunch of demonstrations at our parking lot. Yeah. And they open this video with a sped up version of all their demos you're going to see okay. in the video. So Sounds exciting. Pretty damn exciting. Here's proof by uh, Cold Steel, the uh, weapon So company. the new one is more proof. This yes. is just regular proof. This is just proof. regular proof. It's a lot of pretty satisfying stuff. Yeah. I want to see more of that, all four guys on there. Yeah. Cut up the sleeve of a leather jacket. My name is Len Thompson. I'm the president of Cold Steel Incorporated. What we intend to do I'm in this presentation is prove that our knives are unsurpassed when it comes to strength, sharpness, and cutting power. Many of the demonstrations you are going to see are very, very dangerous and constitute gross abuse of the knife. Please do not attempt to Why duplicate these it? at home. <laughs> All right, do not attempt them at home. That's proof. Roll the outro for uh, the excitement oh. corner. Oh, he just seems like a like a Ricky or something, doesn't he? It seems like like a Danny or something. Yeah, he not seem a, like Lynn, a Lynn. He but maybe seem... he's compensating for his somewhat traditionally feminine uh, first name. Oh, like by boy named boy named Sue, kind of a thing. Yeah, being yeah. a tough guy. Yeah. Um, well, we uh, before we get into show and tell, um, we uh, a couple well, we're not doing any show and tell. Well, you, I'm calling it the unboxing kind of a show and tell. I That's guess. That's an unboxing. Okay. It's gonna confuse people. All right, well, we need a graphic to transition us in there. So I'm, let's just, can let's you, bend the rules for this one can time. Can you play that one, what was that, um, Stump the, what was it? Rank yeah. the Franks. Yeah, Rank the Franks. Rank the Franks. But, but wait, before we do that, uh, a couple of weeks ago we announced um, uh, the costume contest where you're going to dress as oh, a yeah. uh, character from VCR Party or from the Found Footage Festival. And uh, the entries came flooding in. I don't know if they did or not. They were taping this before. Yeah, we only got one. Yeah, it's a pre-tape here. Yeah. But let's assume they did. Uh, we have big, valuable prizes, original paintings, uh, yep. DVDs before they're released, all sorts of good yep. stuff. And, and we, uh, we're awarding the top three and the worst one. Right. And if only one person entered, they'll get all of them. Yep. Uh, they'll get everything. <laughs> uh, but uh, so let's go live to the reveal of the winner of the VCR Party Costume Contest. Hey, it's me again, and I have Joe on the line from... Where are you exactly right now? I'm in Janesville, Wisconsin. I went to eat at Bazinga's today. Really? I got a pizza, yeah, and I got uh, maybe you a special Christmas present. Oh, God, I can't wait. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we'll have a, a full Bazinga's report, but right now we got to get to the. Let me can, let me ask you this: Do yeah. you wear camouflage clothing? Generally, no. Um, no. But okay, I, I'm not going to well, say a hard no. You will now. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, we'll have a, a report about Bazinga's very soon. Um, but yeah, we wanted to chime in live because um, uh, we're in different places, but we got so many great costumes in. We wanted to run through them. And just show you, I think we had 15 people enter. Some were couples costumes, but we had 15 people enter. And they're all so good that it's hard to decide on who will get a prize. So let's, well, let's just run through them. Well, here's the thing. I picked three of my favorites, and they were completely different from your three. That's the thing. These, any so one like, of these could be a winner. We didn't agree on any of them, although they all could arguably be winners. So, so we'll, uh, all right, yeah, start at the beginning. We'll resolve this, but the first thing is we were in Chicago over the weekend, and we had people come dressed in costume. So I think you'll remember these fellas, the fabulous ones, uh, Memphis wrestling duo, and um, they, they had a sexy intro video. Well, our friends Nick and Jen from Brick a Brack Records, uh, here's their costume. Pretty. Yep, and then, 
And then they actually did a dance, too. They did the dance, right? They did the dance. They they brought a little portable speaker, and they played the song. Um, so, I mean, that was commitment. They were, I think, maybe one of only two people dressed up that day. And now, is he... Is, is, uh, Wearing a shirt underneath, or no? I can't. No know. shirt. No shirt. He no had. Shirt underneath. Yeah, he and had. It was cold outside. Yes, freezing, and he duct taped the tie. He used gaff tape to put the tie on. So it was. It was a lot of commitment. And yeah. I, I said, "Wow, did you did you make those costumes?" And they said, "Nope, they're going back to Amazon tomorrow." So, <laughs> which I think. They, they, Nick and Jen, they are a couple of fabulous ones. They are. So thank you. Great entry. Let's go to um, next. This one surprised me. There's some deep cuts here. Um, this, uh, first of all, you might remember um, the guy who played, who was Rent a Friend, also did a, a series in Chicago called Wild Chicago, where he was dressed in a safari hat and would just interview weirdos. And he is a weirdo. So it was a great show. There's a web clip of it that we have on our website. And completely unrelated to that, Joe, you played a clip of Jim Gillette from Metal well, Method. Right? Yeah, remember uh, when we did the wrap-up show, Richard and Sal gave us uh, that Jim Gillette video, and it's it's fantastic. I mean, it's a vocal training exercise video, um, but man, I was surprised that somebody actually dressed up as this dude. Well, look at this was sort of a couple's costume. So yeah, we have Cameron as Jim Gillette, and Miranda, they're a couple. They uh, She went as Sam, and she made a Wild Chicago logo on the safari hat and everything, so... Pretty great, and there's me in the background selling merch, and I had no idea. They... <laughs> um, let's move on quickly to. I can, you, I can see the dollar signs in your eyes. Oh, right there. yeah, it's all about the money for me. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, so I was too distracted. I couldn't even like pose for a photo with those guys. No, I didn't yeah. even see them. They just sent me that uh, photo yesterday. So um, this is a classic clip from one of our very first volumes. It's Harvey Sid Fisher, and this is the Gemini dancer. And this was another couple's costume that came to the show in Chicago over the weekend. This is, uh, this is, a, this is a great idea for a couple's costume, by the way. Yeah. To Harvey said Fisher and one of his dancers. They, they had the pose right, and, uh, yeah, they were doing a little the, dance. and The hairstyle, like, Hobart's hairstyle here is, is right on point. Um, yeah, this is like, Ho Hobart, and do you remember his girlfriend's name? I can't remember. Oh, I should know. I had, I had uh, drinks with them the next day, and I'm totally... <laughs> God damn it, I hate that we can't remember names. I'm, I wish one of us could. I'm sorry, but there it was a great costume, so well done on both of your parts. And she actually had the harder costume to make. I mean, Hobart found a tuxedo and did... But was, even, like, look at look at the bottoms of uh, the the skirt. It's yeah. It's like, like a jagged thing. It's jagged on both of them. I know. The the accuracy for all the costumes that were sent in was pretty remarkable. Um yeah. This uh, next one is a, a video-based clip, and I think you'll remember a, a certain home movie we found called Jeff's Birds, and the song we constantly sing from that. Let me just play that clip really quick. Here comes the Easter Bunny hopping down the trail. Hippity hop, don't stop. I got your Easter eggs. All right, I gotta go. Okay, great song. I don't know if this technically counts as a costume, but I liked the effort. This was Sally, who actually has a, a bunny. And, I'll take it. Like, I'll, I'll yeah. take it. Anytime that I can hear that song being sung and that it gets out to the ether, like, I want people to start singing this song at Easter time. <laughs> like, I yeah. want it to get out. And every, every opportunity we get to play it, we should absolutely play it. Well, let's hear Sally's rendition. This is her Jeff's Birds. I guess it's a couple's costume. Um, it's her and her, her rabbit. So here we go. Here comes the Easter Bunny hopping down the trail. Hippity hop, don't stop, I got your Easter eggs. Okay, I gotta go now. Again, the accuracy. I mean, the, yeah. the all right, I gotta go, and then the camera pan down was just yeah. dead on. So, yeah. all right, this she, is a, She was a total Jeff, even though his name wasn't Jeff. Right, she was the guy behind the camera whose name wasn't Jeff, so... Um, right. Uh, so this one is a little more abstract, but I liked it. Um, you might remember a video that, Joe, I think you showed called Rodent Control in the Pork Industry. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was for a tedium corner. Yes. And it was, it was exactly that. It's just talking to people about the por in the pork industry about how to control rodents. And we specifically liked the diagram that had a cat and a, and a rodent in it and showed how they got killed and all that stuff. And yeah. so, so here is... A, Beth and Gunter, or Gunter, going as um, the rodent control in the pork industry diagram. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, 
I, I love everything about I love the expression. Yeah. I, um, I think she's the cat, right? She's the cat at the top of the diagram, and he is the pork from the pork industry. <laughs> right, exactly. So she's essentially saving him. Right. right? Yeah, she's right. controlling, yeah. she's eating the rodents and saving him. So. Right, and, and he doesn't know it, though. Right. Because that's because that stupid grin on his face. He's just, like, going about his day. Yeah, and she looks kind of miserable because she's got the tougher job there. She's doing the heavy lifting here in the relationship. Exactly. I wonder if that's how their real relationship... Write in and let us know. <laughs> um, let's go to this amazing one. We showed this before, but we need to show the comparison. This is um, Dark Lord Blood, the seventh generation satanic worshiper from uh, a video we found called Best Talk in Town, I think. Something like that. Yeah. It's a local New York show. And then look at what Jeffrey did here. This is, uh, I mean, this. I'm blown away how he put the lower third Chiron on his sweatshirt. I'm blown away by the mustache. He got that yeah. mustache, thin mustache, just perfectly. Yeah, sort of like a post, slightly post-pubescent, where you can't really grow a good one yet. That's kind of what Jeffrey's mustache is like there. Yeah, even his lips look like Dark Lord Blood's lips. The yeah. That he has them kind of smushed together like that. You're right. When you compare them side by side, yeah. And and, and then when you have the, the bonus of the uh, the uh, barcode on the side, yeah. on, his, on the Satan horns, on his hands, right. like, it's, it's, it's just it's a slam dunk it's, all, all around. It's tying in another video we've shown, which is... Um, you know about how UPC codes are the work of the devil. So, yeah, not not just yes, <laughs> right. He knocked it out of the park, and I also like that he wore this to a party, so he had to explain it all night, which I give extra, I give bonus points for that. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna get into. I mean, we're every. I think everybody was great. Uh, the next three, we each picked our top three, and that's what we're gonna get into now. Well, I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to. Toss Dark Lord Blood into the top. Okay. Can we throw that in there? Yeah. So the lower third is like it's it's so good. The mustache. Yeah. So we'll have seven in there. Yeah, and then ultimately because we couldn't decide, we're kind of punting on the decision making, and we're putting the top seven in a hat. This is a. uh, Exactly. This is the Plainview Clown Museum hat, and. It was uh, honestly, it was honestly stressful for me to look at all these and be like, oh, we have to pick one winner. I know, (laughs) and we're gonna. We're gonna. It's hard to be a judge. It's hard to, because they're all so I don't good. I like it one bit. Yeah. I prefer to have somebody else be a judge and for me to tell that judge that they're doing a bad job. Right. That's what I prefer. Somebody will be mad either way. Yeah. But I, I think here's what I'm going to say right now. We're going to give a prize to everybody who entered because yeah. the effort they put in, they um, people got must have been so confused on Halloween when somebody's <laughs> going as... Uh, I mean, the, the amount of explanation that they had to provide for their costumes... Yeah throughout the night like it must have been exhausting yeah so we, we it's i mean we're this is far exceeds our expectations already let's get into our top picks uh joe yep. why don't you start okay so this this was a, a top three for me uh, uh bb bunny is one of my favorite videos it's from tucson arizona and uh are you showing a clip right now no are just you just the still you can see her trainer whose name is jenny uh teaching bb the piano yeah and then uh so then, uh, who, who, who did this? Who did this one? Well, coincidentally, <laughs> also named Ginny, which I think is why she oh, really? she saw a kinship with Ginny, the oh, uh, animal trainer. So yeah, there's. Okay. So, but I, I, not only did I love the, the attention to detail on the whole outfit, and also play it like you played yesterday, the sign. Um, she threw out a bonus of uh, BB Bunny attacking her. <laughs> right. And, this is like fan fiction of what happened after she was too demanding with BB Bunny. Uh, I think maybe we should do another uh, fan fiction for BB Bunny and Ginny. Maybe that's another thing. Like, oh. we're doing erotic, we're doing erotic uh, fan fiction for McDonald's. Right. See. Maybe we should do it for these two. So it's kind of more of like a, a revenge scenario instead of yeah. being erotic, and, it's revenge. And, yeah, exactly. And that, and that fan fiction always ends in Jenny's death. Okay. In very, in, in, yeah, in creative ways. So, I, yeah, I, I do like the fan fiction element of, of Jenny's costume. Let me move uh, on. I also like the way that she uh, put her glasses, her, she tilted her glasses off and she put some fake blood on her. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to that yet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, we've yeah. seen that. It was, that was great. Um, okay, let me move on quickly to uh, one of my top picks. This is, uh, uh, you might remember Miss ATV, the beauty pageant from 1978 that was 
loosely Star Wars themed. And here you see their kind of crappy version of C-3PO awarding uh, Miss, uh, uh, who's it, Joy Walters. And uh, so look, look at, look at what uh, Megan and Scott from Madison did. This, the lighting is perfect. The costumes are perfect. Um, yeah. like the sun. The expression, yeah. The expressions are perfect. Yeah. It's uh, it, it, they just knocked it out of the park. So definitely a favorite. Love the attention to detail and the lighting went the extra mile. I think. What do yeah. you got for another pick? Uh, Doral Silverthorne. This is a this was a definite top three for me. Uh, just because uh, I mean, look at this. Not only the costume. So here's Doral Silverthorne from a video called uh, "Rocks Winning Workout Without Weights." And then uh, here's Ross from St. Louis. <laughs> and his Doral Silvertar. Everything's there. Look at Everything that. Is there. He's got the, the blue blanket underneath him. He's got the bike in the background. He's got the fence behind him. He has the, the posture. Now, yeah. the posture is not easy to achieve because Doral Silverthorne, I think, was 117 in that video. Yeah, so at least. He, his, his posture is absolutely <laughs> perfect. And he has something on the top of the hat that I can't totally remember. Yeah, Ross ba basically recreated the logo on Doral's hat, or so close to it, I think, just by yeah. using paper or taping it on. So, again, attention to detail. And this next one, uh, my, my number two pick, uh, is similar in uh, the type of character this is. This is a video that um, I think Bob sent us, Bob Hedges. Oh. Uh, and you can see that the, the VHS cover is signed, I Want to Be a Mole Killer with uh, Jeff Holper. And uh, uh, then here's Jeff Holper, who has some very unique male pattern baldness, and uh, he kills moles. I, I always thought it was kind of like a Princess Leia, but a little bit higher and a little bit closer to the, to the skull. But yeah. It does look, look Leia-like. Or sort it's of like Dilbert's like boss. boss. You know, it kind of yeah, has... You know, it's more like Dilbert's boss. Yeah. yeah you're right. So here's Judah. <laughs> look at... For, I mean... First of all, he's got the mustache and the uh, the bald male pattern baldness wig down. He's holding a stuffed mole, which he must have had to go buy. You don't just have a stuffed mole line. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. Um, and uh, he signed it, again, just like the VHS cover. And if you look at the, the, the signature, it's the same. He's copied, exactly the, same. He's copied yeah. the signature. But I also love the detail that in the video um, at the end, they... Uh, advertised the mole killer t-shirts and sweatshirts and he actually went and screen printed apparently screen printed the mole killer uh t-shirt for him to wear it's a sweet success it's a sweet yeah. success yeah so the fact that he had to go to a store or a screen printer friend and be like okay i need a i need to recreate this mole killer uh <laughs> graphic to put on a shirt i mean yeah. again knocked it out I of the park here's what i have to say about judah's costume yeah. Sweet success. Sweet success. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah. exactly. Sweet success. Sweet All right. Success. What do you got? Uh, well, this one we showed a couple of weeks ago uh, from Mick C, uh, the, the video that uh, Nick stole from a, a McDonald's uh, break room um, in high school. Uh, this one, Jennifer, uh, Amanda sent this one in. And look at this. Uh, again, the attention to detail. I don't even, I don't know. Maybe she got a haircut specifically to look more like Jennifer. But look at this. Like, she went out to a McDonald's, actually, to get this photo taken. She got the Jennifer tie just right. Everything. Even, like, the, the way that she's posing is, like, something that, that Jennifer would – it's a pose that Jennifer would do. It's Yeah, I mean, you can almost hear her condescending tone. Um, and uh, it's – yeah, it's, it's, it's really accurate. The fact that she went to a McDonald's and probably had to go kind of steal this photo without getting questioned by management – Shows yeah. shows the effort she went to, and she was also yeah. the first entry we got. So, kudos for being on time, Amanda. Well done with Jennifer yeah. from McSee. The last one uh, I want to show is <laughs> this. I'll actually instead of showing you a still from the video, I'll show you Tape Boy, who is our our ma mascot, the clown VHS tape that was made by who made this again? Um, uh, Kalen. Kalen. And, uh, and in Washington, yeah, made this VCR party mascot that we were going to donate to the Clown Museum, but it's too good. And, oh yeah, his nose lights up and everything. And uh, he's currently working on other ones, but we called this guy Tape Boy. We, we, uh, um, he's always behind us on the set. And so look at what Sam uh, put together. This is, I mean, the amount of effort that he had to go through to make this as a, as a faithful recreation of, 
of uh, t- Tape Boy. Look at, can you zoom in on the eyes? Yeah. Look at the eyes. You're right. It's like these little, like, look at that. It's, it's, it's perfect. They're Google. It's they're perfect. Yeah, they're Googly. And it's also, it's also very scary, too. Like, yeah. Look at his face peeking through the, <laughs> it's frightening. It's actually a frightening costume. And Sam was at a party, like, in the background, you could see in, in another photo, there's people at the party. So he must have been constantly explaining, well, it's a white VHS tape that's made into a clown that has teeth. And I mean, Kalen, Kalen made it. He's right. From Washington State. And what an advertisement for this very show. So uh, I had to give him credit for that too. Um, yeah. Again, thank you to all the entries. I mean, this is. Uh, it, it exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I, 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 I thought we were going to get like two or three, maybe. And then it also makes me feel dumb about my costume being Bargain Barney last week. I feel like <laughs> I just like just really phoned it in while these other people are just like spending time on their costumes. Oh, yeah. I mean, our, our viewers are far more talented than we are. We've known that for no, a long time. So definitely. here's what it all comes down to. We're going to draw for the, uh, first of all, the bronze prize, which I can't remember. We have a ton of good prizes for you. Um, and uh, uh, so let me just draw. So I'm going to mix up. Uh, did you put Dark Lord Blood in there? I did. I put him in as okay. a blank uh, a, a blank post-it note. So if I get the blank one, the blank one then it's, it's Dark, Dark Lord, Lord Blood. Blood. Okay, so I'm not looking. And our third prize winner is... Oh, it's Dark Lord Blood. This is the blank one. Oh, so, oh, yes. 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 Well deserved. So, well Jeffrey, deserved. congratulations. Um, I've got the prize, uh, the trophy over there. Uh, so you're going to get something from the uh, prize bin. I can't remember what we decided. but. <laughs> way of selecting our winners yes this is the coward's way, absolutely right? absolutely yeah. yeah i mean i mean like we should we should just pick the winner ourselves and say this is the best one but instead we're doing it the cowardly way right yeah that's the vcr right. party way all right so the silver medal the first runner-up is tape boy sam with tape, tape boy, boy. Nice. yeah i was hoping i was gonna be doral silverthorne i thought Silverthorn would get the silver. Oh, that would have made sense, yeah. Well, if we picked it, that's what we would have done. But okay, yeah, so more yep. So Sam and I believe this one he's he's gonna get a VHS copy of Tree Stand Safety. Now the the grand prize winner, whoever we draw it here, is going to get um, a volume nine DVD, but also the original artwork we commissioned from Art Paul Schlosser. It's a spit painting that yeah. sells for a lot of money. We're going to give that away with some other uh, prizes to the whoever we draw. Original art with original spit. Got yep. It. All And all are deserving. So let me just draw, and we'll see who this is. It is Miss ATV and C-3PO, Megan and yep. Scott from Madison. All well right. done, guys. Hey, I have no complaints about these top no. here. No, yeah. all outstanding. The, the other uh, four that are left in here, we're going to send them a Volume 9 DVD as well. And yeah. everybody else who entered, uh, we so appreciate it. Again, we're blown away, so we're going to find some prizes. We'll send it to everybody. We'll get in touch for your addresses. Anything to add before we go back to us from a couple of weeks ago? When we that's take... all that's it for me. Yeah, and uh, start, yeah, start... Nice work, everybody. So super happy everybody uh, contributed to this and, like, holy shit. That's great. Yeah, start so, start right. thinking about your costumes for next year. The prizes will be bigger, and uh, yeah, we're th- this is amazing. So, all right, uh, more unboxing coming up next. All right, that's all. That's it. All right. How about those costumes? That was yeah, some great winners there. <laughs> I assume they were good. So yeah. Congratulations. You assume they're plural. I assume yeah. they're plural. So congratulations, and uh, well, let's do and it again. You, you looked exactly like Lynn Mitchell in that last uh, thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. That's what I should have got. That's well. I mean, it's not Halloween yet, but yeah, for now. But I, maybe, uh, well, whatever. Yeah. Well, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> so, in lieu of an unboxing graphic, we're gonna do a rank the Franks graphic. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Throw that one in. Yeah. Here we go. Rank the Franks. Now, rank the Franks means unboxing, so that's what we're going to do. Just remember yep. that, yeah. That was from our game show episode. And we have a ton of boxes we've been saving and uh, for a rainy day. Today is that rainy day. Yeah, exactly. And a lot so. of these are from Bob Hedges, our uh, patron saint over there. Why don't you open them up at the same time? Yep, I'm going to. Oh, he's, I'm getting, for your, for your birthday, I'm getting you a box cutter. You Thank you. I can't believe you still use the primitive scissors. Um, all right. Oh, who does this come from? This came from uh, Bob Hedges. 
The one and only. This one came from Noble Knight Games in Fitchburg, but I didn't order it. So I don't know who this is from. Noble oh. Knight Games. Oh, it's oh. A, <laughs> look at this. There's a note inside. It says, Bob Hedges and the Melindas sent this in. As they know you love unusual board games. They just typed this up on a page of 8.5 by 11. But, oh god. I think there's something in this for you, too. Okay. Well, I think it's something we'll both enjoy. It's a board game called Ulcers. Oh, nice. <laughs> so Bob had this board game shop send us a board game called Ulcers. Again, this has nothing to do with VHS, but it has something to do with gross stuff, which you love. Yeah, oh yeah. Thank you, Bob. Um, Bob also sent Night Gals. Uh, <laughs> Playboy. Night Gals. Still in the shrink wrap. Uh, I said, no idea, but I know you oh. like the call like Colin shows. Oh, it's Night Collins. Calls. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, those Night Gals. <laughs> um, UFOs and the Alien Presence. Very cool uh, cover here. Wow. Um, there's a guy in the back. He looks very serious. He's... Very serious. Oh, when it comes well, to he it. looks professional. Yeah. So I guess. Oh, here's a sit and be fit. You remember uh, sit and be fit? Oh you yeah. One? Yeah. We I think there's a series of them. That was a PBS show. Yeah. This is. Um. I think it's the same one that we had, but still in the shrink. Wow. UFOs then and now. A lot of UFO tapes. We gotta put together a UFO montage. We yeah, we got so a bunch of them. them. There's a lot yeah. in our conspiracy theory section. Um. Oh. He said, uh, left it queued up to a hilarious math lesson. Great. Watch See, it? this is what an unboxing show is all about. We're going to pop these in. This is called The Code, Volume 2 and Volume 3. And George, you're really into math, right? Absolutely. And George is just telling me that his his older brother, seven years older, yeah. um, is a math professor, math teacher? Math professor. Math professor, okay. So like if he does, if you give him like a calculus problem, it's super easy for him to solve that, right? He's like, oh, this is easy. Yeah, he does higher stuff than calculus. Really? Yeah. There's higher than calculus? You mean there exists? Higher? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. Uh, all right, here's a... Uh, retrieved Constance back in chapter three. Both Giza and Stonehenge provided and explained them. In this chapter, we will find that they were also very well known in the West, for example. Here they are, all mixed up. The 360 degree base system, alternate pi, pi and double pi. Does this make sense The square theory? root of the volume of the 360 degree sphere, yeah, the radian, some conspiracy two thirds pi, oh, the square yeah. of the megalithic yard, the yeah, double radian, talking about Stonehenge, the two, right? 15, yeah, he's 60 from Stonehenge, math. and oh, even the square conspiracy. root of 2160. Sorry. Math conspiracy? Yes. Why did they wow, come to focus on 15.4919? Three 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 eight. But it's conspiracy by a smart guy, right? A uh, guy with a calculator. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how smart. The prehistoric city of Teotihuacan in Mexico. Whoa. All of it. Buildings, plazas, terraced this platforms, kind of streets. Isn't it? isn't it not interesting? I mean, he's. It's like astrology. It's like people think it's a science to justify the fact that they want to know See, what their mood is going to be. Before my grand, before my grandpa died, he was big into numbers and colors of the spectrum. He's kind of a kook. Mm -hmm. He's kind of a kooky guy. Yeah. And uh, he'd always been a kook, not just like before he died, but like he, I remember one time for Thanksgiving, we we're at my aunt's house and she, she had the pastor over and he, my grandpa sat next to the pastor and he doesn't, he didn't believe in any of the religion or anything right. like that, but he believed in numbers. So he's like, pastor, can you, what can you tell me about the number seven? I remember him telling <laughs> <laughs> How much time you got? <laughs> And I remember the pastor the whole time was just kind of cutting his turkey and looking down at the table the entire time. Just like, well, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe sometimes they, they say there's some significance about numbers, but uh, I'm not the guy to ask about that. He's like, now the number 13 traditionally is a bad luck number, but do you find that that shows up in biblical? Oh, like, boy. Yeah, it was great. Actually, I loved it. Ulcers is not what I... I think you would hope it what, what? would be ulcers oh yeah because we have a we have a video about diabetic foot ulcers it's not oh it's yeah, not yeah. about that it's a fun game that gives you the power over people you hire a vice president and promote your salesman the president demands more money he steals your secretary and your sales manager quits so you're you're a businessman who's getting ulcers from all this crazy thing oh i see or okay. businesswoman. so it's like trouble where you're not actually in trouble 
Yeah, it's like and it's, it's a description of how you're feeling while playing the game. And it's in French, so which makes me think this is Canadian. Oh yeah, sure enough, made in Canada. So yeah, ulcers. Thank you. We'll play that. Oh sometime. look, more UFO stuff. We really got to put together a montage. We have so much stuff. Bob put on this one, and also Scimitar put these out. Oh. Uh, he said it. He queued it up. It's in the middle of an alien autopsy tape one, which has no sound. Remember so, there was that Fox broadcast of a live alien autopsy or something? and Hosted by Jonathan Frakes. Yeah, and then they, they proved <laughs> that it was fake Who's uh, years Freaks? later. Frakes, he was uh, Commander Riker on Star Trek The Next Generation. Okay, I think this is tape one. See the guy with the beard? Yes. Yeah, okay. I, I recognize From him. From seasons three to seven. All right, we're going <laughs> to wow. see an alien autopsy right now. Bob uh, queued it up. The crossover of being into math and Star Trek, I imagine there's not much... It's like a complete uh, pie chart. Look at, this is look the at, thing that they yeah. showed on Fox. There's no audio on it. <gasps> That's scary. And they showed it. it was these two guys in England, right, who did it? Like it, it actually, it kind of looks like Steve Lawrence a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, like he's doesn't not it here. Kind of so. like actually look like Steve. He's got a diabetic thigh ulcer. Did he hurt his, his toe yeah, or something while this trimming his it, nail? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, this is spooky. I d it did fool a lot of people. They like people were like, "This isn't real," but they couldn't figure out how they did it. The makeup's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But there were certain clues. Oh, I seriously, remember. like spitting image of Steve, like no different. Yeah, it really is. If he, if that that dead alien was French and its wife, then we'd be like, "Yeah, that's." If Steve it was wearing Lawrence. like a Boston Red Sox hat, it would totally <laughs> yeah. be Steve. And his um, nickname was Chippa. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a fun fact about Steve that you might not know, is that his, everybody, you, you talk to his old friends, they all call him Chip. You wow. tell me this while the autopsy plays, it's <laughs> <laughs> this classic VCR party. Uh -huh. This one says, oh, this is another okay. Bob Hedges, but it says, for some reason it says well, Mystery Science play. I might as well just leave this play yeah, until, some, the until something, play. yeah, I'll just let, let it play until yeah. something better comes along. Um, <laughs> I just like the title of this one. Kelp Forests. <laughs> kelp Forests. Like kelp Forests. It's a documentary. Bob uh, leaves notes on all these, too, which is pretty great. And George, I want to tell you how to do your directing job, but feel free to bounce back between us and uh, Alien Autopsy if something interesting seems to be happening. Well, there is an alien being autopsied, so something interesting yeah, is I mean, always happening Yeah, we should all be way screen. more shocked than <laughs> this, right? Um, still more scimitar buffoonery. He just really hooked us up with all the UFO... Uh, Scimitar videos. Yeah, this one is uh, about Jehovah's Witnesses, and he says, "Where's Thomas O'Dady now? Who's uh, oh yeah, the Thomas O'Dady explosion? What, what is what? What is that? I'm interested. Jehovah's in Witness, a nonprofit organization, over 100 years of false, false prophecies prophe oh, and so lies. Oh, anti. Yeah, and he said he queued it up to a part about the colon. So this could be another filth corner. Oh, boy. I doubt it's going to be graphic. This is a uh, anti-Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. Um, okay. But hopefully there'll be some audio on this one. I'll keep uh, alien autopsy nearby in case. Uh, yeah. In case we need it. Yeah, kelp forest is kind of calling my name too. <sighs> he kelp taught forest. that appendicitis was caused by biting worms in the colon. He sold so-called miracle wheat at greatly inflated prices to his gullible followers. None of these things are brought out in the Proclaimer's book. They didn't do an honest job of reporting on their founder She's at all. She's making cards, isn't she? We are prepared to document like that thing. Charles Russell believed he was the sole channel of communication between God and men. He even referred to himself as God's See? mouthpiece. No thanks. Let's take a look. No thanks. He's credited with George writing uh, the finished mystery book, yeah. which was okay. completed after his death. It states that Russell was still in charge from heaven I'm going to go back to Alien Autopsy. Well, hang on a sec, because uh, I found two uh, in, in here from Bob, how to tattoo uh, oh. videos. God, where does he find these? I have no idea, but these are good finds. So, how to tattoo in Pierce Volume 1. Yes, pop it in. Let's give this a shot. And it's in the oh. middle of the tape, so... And it also looks like it's cracked tape, so Ooh, hopefully... It... Okay, I hope the VCR doesn't eat this one. Um, and then there's how to do shading in tattoos, too, which is the most painful part. They're part of the country. But usually, 
350 degrees. The sterilization. Well, I want to hear. It might, it might be saying some good stuff. Well, I'd rather get to the actual tattooing, if you don't mind. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, sterilization. So again, it's sterilization under steam and pressure. Somewhat of a double whammy as far as killing any bacteria or uh, infectious type microbes that might be in there. This box is huge. Again, if you're not using this type of equipment, you're taking too much of a chance. <laughs> One other thing I might mention before moving on. That's forward. Let's get to the... This is a uh, white guy teaching about African drumming. Not only a white guy, the whitest man. I mean, look at this guy. Um, see it, sing it, play it. And uh, here he is with a djembe on the back. That Ooh, might be worth familiar. popping in. Oh, how, how deep should I go? Is that for... Ooh, uh, oh, it's the epidermis. But for what? Oh, for... for how, on the needle. Wow, this is like a nuts and bolts kind of video, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, and it is, is like, homemade. I mean, I want to... I don't want to hit stop, because something good could happen. Yeah. It could just be tedium. Here's one that he, he put on, it said, much, much intense tedium. Hmm, let intense me, let, tedium. Let me be the judge of that. <laughs> Do you have wow. the cover for uh, how to tattoo and pierce? It uh, didn't come with one, oh. no. Okay. Um, all right. This is called We Are Not Alone. How do they fly on the trail of UFOs, the aliens experiment? Oh, George. <laughs> Mind meld. Secrets behind the Star Trek series. I'm unfamiliar with the original series. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the power source Shatner. is a reactor which uses this element one fifteen. There's the intense, as... uh, much intense tedium. That looks like it. Oh, oh look at, yeah. Look at that backdrop, too. And in fact, element 116 decays in fractions of a second. This finally brings us to the power source. The power source is a reactor which uses this element 115 as its fuel. In this reactor, element 115 this is, is used as a target and is bombarded with protons in a small particle accelerator. When a proton plugs into the nucleus of an atom of 115, it increases its atomic number and becomes an atom of element 116, you know which, remember, decays instantly. Do you? What element 116 releases as it decays or what it radiates is antimatter. What is antimatter? Antimatter is the exact counterpart of matter, this, which has a charge and a spin stuff? that is in the opposite of all how matter. how sentence ends. <laughs> when combined with any matter in our universe, antimatter reacts and completely converts to energy. And remember, the rapid conversion of matter to energy is what we generally call an explosion. To demonstrate the explosive power of antimatter, let's pick a random area where an atomic bomb might explode. Oh, let's say Iraq. And for demonstration purposes, let's say an atomic bomb would explode, for instance, in, uh, oh, Baghdad. Well, if one of our older atomic bombs exploded in Baghdad, the area of total devastation, which is indicated by the red dot on the map, would be approximately two miles. This would be caused by a fission reaction in right, which I'm less bored. than 1% of the nuclear material... Wow, you're bored. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, wow. uh, it, it's tedium. Know. Yeah. But he's talking about nuclear bombs and everything. He's making that boring. Yeah, I know. Come on, dude. Well, Bob's outdone himself, because I love miniature golf, as you know. Yeah. There's some other things I love, too, that might be in this video. Nude putt-putt golf. <gasps> we can't play it. Nude, can we? no, we can't, can't play it, but uh, I'll screen it, and maybe there's parts we can play it. Here's a video handbook for healthy falling. Okay. Let's watch that. Here, here's what it looks like. It's a... Uh... Oh, man. <coughs> What's a foal? Is that uh, racing your ba baby horses? I assume that's what a foal is, yeah. right? Falling fundamentals. Um... I like the name of the production company, Video Velocity. This oh, for compiling your folding kit. kit. You'll need sterile cotton for washing your mare's vulva and udder prior Whoa. to birthing, <laughs> and for applying betadine to the folding needle, a bucket and the lid, and ivory liquid 
for washing the mare with a solution of ivory and warm this could water. Be like a Later, the placenta will be collected delivery. in the bucket with oh, a lid. This is for the vet must to be like birthing a. The yeah. placenta may also oh. be collected in a. Pl yes, let's see. The a, placenta see may a, also be collected. I like that, I like that shot of the towels. Piled <laughs> off, it should smell like a horse. Not fabric. So it, it should smell like a horse? Oh, yeah, yeah, not like fabric. Oh, like, I it see. shouldn't smell like that. Right. Make sure the towels knowledge. have yeah. not been dried with bounce or some other dryer additive. The towel should have no scent. After the newborn has been toweled off, it should smell like a horse, not fabric softener. Did also, betadine yeah, for treating the horse. Must smell like horse. Yeah. The horse must smell like a horse. Got yeah. it. Well, let's see some birthing, some horse birth. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> we have about ten how to tattoo and pierce videos, yes. including how to do a cover up. Yeah, put it in the queue, line it up. I mean, there are we got a ton of them here. I, don't I know still got a huge box right over here. I got I do too. Yeah. Well, there's a oh yeah a horse potentially being born. Three pounds per hand, slice of carrots, one bag of Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> this horse smells like uh, downy. I was talking to my neighbor the other day. Oh, here, there, there's the horse. Okay. There's a horse Volvo. Yeah. For birth. Oh. I was talking to my neighbor the other day, and he's talking about how raccoons got into his house, and I was like. I was like, how did they get in the house? And he, I guess he has a cat door where they could get into. And he's like, but the thing is, I don't know why they would come in here because I've never fed them before. And they stopped and he goes, well, actually, no, I gave him a Cheeto. <laughs> so it's a very specific thing said, to give But he said it very seriously. like, no, I, no I, I take that back. I did give him a Cheeto. Let me correct myself here. I, uh, now that I'm remembering. All right, let's see some action here. Oh, look, oh wait, wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Cheetos and horse vulva. Yeah. This show has it all. That's Big. the title. Wash and rinse the mare's anus, vulva, <laughs> hindquarters, and udder thoroughly. It's just nature. That's all it is. That's true of nude putt putt golf, though. That is true as that's well. That's nature too. But that's YouTube. That uh, those those. I like uh, the music that they prudes chose. over. What's some you... good uh, music for the uh, horse vulva and anus washing scene? The Proclaimers. <laughs> and I would walk uh, five. approximately 24 oh, hours yeah, before delivery. Oh, the foal has rotated out? into a diver's position, assuming a streamlined form that will facilitate his birth. His body is fully extended, with one foot leading the other, to reduce the bulk of his shoulders oh, so that he can more farmer. easily pass through the birth canal. No, not a chance. His front feet and nose are in position at the pelvic brim, which Remember helps dilate the cervix. Uh, I, I shadowed a uh, veterinarian for a long time because I, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And then, um, hold on, I got distracted. <laughs> I remember one time at our friend Tom's uh, farm, he had a wheelbarrow full of dead baby pigs. That I guess the, there was an unplanned oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. birth. And you took a pitchfork and took the afterbirth and tried to fling it at me and Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember that. Uh, well, here we go. The placenta um, has not broken. Call your vet, then scrub your hands and oh. break the placenta and allow the amnion oh, to appear. Oh, look at it. This is a very rare occurrence. Yeah, we, we have just the best oh. job, don't we? Yeah. We just have the best job in the world. And uh, Bob Hedges like, like, is, is just our, the gift that keeps on giving. This is the Bob Hedges episode. <laughs> that's all natural. Like, that's Mother Nature right there. Oh. Is that afterbirth? I don't know. Yeah, that's not a horse. No. Maybe that's the amniotic sac. Look at you. <laughs> I was going to say this is my first rodeo, but it is. I, we just have other birthing videos. Look how steamy it is. I was going to say something about the horse vulva. And I completely forget. Oh, when I shadowed the uh, veterinar yeah. veterinarian, um, I watched him put his entire hand up. It must have been Amir a is laying cow's down vagina. flat on her side now well, cow? with her legs cow's, extended. Yeah. Her not weight actually one, contributes right. the to the push of the contractions. Her contractions are... Right, should we, um... Yeah, I don't know if we need to see the steaming but, bag. <coughs> I want to see the uh, horse, because whenever you see, like, horse births or, like, animal births, it's always very satisfying, because it just seems like they just got rid of, like, something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just seems like a weight Ooh. is just lifted. Oh, I'm having trouble with this one. Oh, really? Yeah. What's so gross about it? 
Nature? I just brown steaming fluid coming out of a horse's vulva? I don't know. Call me crazy. Soon you should see the foal's first foreleg and There's then the other. Ooh. His nose will follow. This arrangement helps prevent his elbows from getting hung up on the mare's pelvis. Be sure that these limbs are being delivered through the mare's vulva. You wouldn't look at my. There have been instances when a foal's right, hook has been forced up well, through the roof of the vaginal removed. canal. Not, like if a horse was being right here born, I wouldn't look at it either. Yeah. Eeh. George, does it gross you out? It reminds me of a scene from the show V, The Final Battle. Oh. That with an alien born <laughs> when I was maybe seven that freaked me out for. Yeah, an for alien months. birth? Yeah. That's basically what this is. I mean, we want to see the horse come out, right? We can't just stop it there, right? I mean, that could be our outro. Oh, now it's standing. Oh. You see no, visible so, yeah, progress. Oh. Take her I easy. worry that it, it would snap its leg off right there. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We can watch this in fast forward. That's the music. Yeah. I like the music. <laughs> it's the Dave Brubeck horse vulva, horse vulva trio. It's horse weird vulvas. when a farmer calls a band in to like to the mm -hmm. to the barn, yeah. so they know there's gonna yeah, be. They'll have a panned over yeah. and they're all <laughs> the band the actually playing <laughs> a nightclub act. Ooh, there's a horse. All right, let's see him fast forward. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Ding ding. I think they ran out of stuff to talk about, so they're like, you know what, let's just let the music play. Yeah, let's just moment. watch nature take its course. I feel like they would want to use the audio of the horse because they'd probably be screaming, right? And you want to get used to hearing the horse screaming. I, I don't <laughs> think the horse is screaming. You don't think so? No. I think it's probably silent. Once the forelegs, Ooh. head, and shoulders have appeared, you oh. may enter the stall and quietly clear the amnion oh, from his head and shoulders. Be into Remember that your hands oh, should be that. clean. It's like a full-grown horse. That's insane. How is that inside Remember that horse? Remember when she was washing the vulva? Yeah. It was, just, it was just that tiny little vulva? Yeah. That whole horse came out of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to do a nature show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, look at that vulva. <laughs> yeah, we take things from a real academic point of view here <laughs> yeah. on the show. Ooh, I hope that doesn't uh, smell like snuggle. Yeah, with, with lots of... Uh, with I'm lots going of back in. That smells like downy. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Our nature show that will have lots of casual swearing. Yeah, throughout. yeah, yeah. Well, off to the glue factory. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Well, that was something else. Wow. Look at this. So Thanks, we, Bob. We got uh, the guide to making spares bowling video, hosted by Don Johnson. The Don Johnson? Mm, well, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> that, the guy from Miami Vice. He's Vice. not wearing like a pastel shirt with a white sport. No, coat, that's but. the guy from uh, the new Watchmen series. All right, from the uh, first episode let's of Watchmen. See, uh, let's see what Don Johnson's all about. I mean, if nothing else, we'll get a hi. I'm Don Johnson. Yeah, exactly. And he'll have a bowling physique. These are that enormous. Could the, that could go in the uh, funny names. Uh, oh, yeah, this yeah. This is so heavy. Up with their feet. This must have. This I mean, it's I so still have heavy. another heavy box, and this one is about the size of a ski pole, so there's so much more. <laughs> Got a lot. Oh, look at look at his pants. There's Don Johnson. Oh, all right. Yeah, did he say hi? I'm Don Johnson. Rewind it. Well, hi, now I'm Don Johnson. He definitely little... did. And this is tubs. Together, we'll be teaching you how to pick up spares. Oh, it's at the end of the tape. This might take a while. But it, uh, here's another oh. one called. There's some good stuff in here. Nemo 98 Ice Storm. Looks like a home movie or maybe news coverage. Maybe news coverage. Maybe the movie, The Ice Storm. Oh, you're right. It could be. You know 98, what I mean. Would that have been Ice Storm, Eric? I think so. Yeah. There's some right. exciting stuff here that I'm We're not allowed to show this tape by okay. FBI warning. Don Johnson's uh, Guide to Making Spires. Uh, yes. It's so specific. Hi, I'm Don Johnson. Yeah. We concentrated on accuracy. Again, we keyed in on our timing, our arm swing direction, our follow through. But I'm not busting drug perps in again, Miami. This tape really helped a lot I'm of teaching guys accuracy. how to pick up spares. My second bowling. tape, we concentrated. Let me hike up my pants and let's get started. I love Which this. Don Johnson came first? I wonder what year this He's is. He's older than Don Johnson. Well, no, I know. Like, but I'm saying, like, pants. did have this tape come out before my advice? Have pin column. Uh, let's see what the year is on uh, Don Johnson's guide to, uh... Uh, here's one called The Reptilian Agenda. <laughs> oh, wow, one. that was around back and then. You know what, it's, it's using the same uh, font as uh, the code did with the math. 
That's only part one, by the way. Um, oh, here's one that's autographed. It doesn't have a year on it, but I don't know. He, there's an autograph. Uh, it's I got another an horse video. It's another equestrian. Here's the bits and bits and bidding, bits and bidding, autographed. Take a look at that. I think we gotta I, have an autograph shelf. I think that, yeah, we should do one. I think I can see that autograph and raise you an autographed Yakov Smirnoff. Oh, nice. Okay. Got in Branson. That's an autographed. Yeah. Holy shit, that's probably worth something. President and Barbara Bush. <coughs> George, are you able to look up what a uh, Yakov Smirnoff autograph goes for? <laughs> yeah, he just looked it up at zero. Uh, I said, Nick, I'm guessing Marty is a mixed breed. Congrats, that's covered here. Oh. And this is all. Oh, the pet yeah. grooming video? Yeah. Okay. This one says this could be the next game show challenge with the Rejuvenique. Uh, it's another uh, product. Um, We'll see what this one is. It's, he says it's a rejuvenate for the rest of your body. Second purpose is to provide muscle therapy. In the muscle mode, the RS4I causes your skin to tingle. And then your muscles will contract, then relax, contract, oh. Oh. then relax. I like this video. To get the most out of your therapy, you should increase the channel intensity settings as directed by your doctor. Now let's show you how doctor. to do it on your genitals. Enclosed in your carrying case are several items. That's like a Venus 2 briefcase. Yes. The RS4i stimulator, which is small, lightweight, portable, and battery powered. Oh, there's the video. There's so much stuff in this box. Yakov Smirnoff autograph, $4 on eBay. All right, sweet. Your pad. Oh. Uh, <coughs> we got an excitement corner thing here for you, Nick. Oh, yeah? Yep. What's it look no, like? No, this is exciting, though a Ooh. bit repetitive. A, stunt, a Gary, stuntman video? Gary Edelin, stuntman. He has a, uh, the, uh, the tape label here is his, uh, is his uh, business card. And it, um, yeah, I feel like, yeah. Pop it, it in? It has his fax number on it, too. So <laughs> okay, we could, to, we could fax him. Yeah. All right, what so is here, this fax number? Let's uh, if anybody at home wants to fax. Uh, it says the most spectacular death-defying stunt you will ever see. Watch his bone-jarring explosion as detonated. Will he make it? <coughs> he doesn't. This is a snuff film. It's the guy who sets himself on homemade. fire. Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very homemade. All right, I might have to save I've more of this for before. an excitement corner. Oh. Everybody's quiet. Nobody's like cheering or anything. Yeah. yeah there go. The guy had to say, the man's on fire. Can you give him some applause? The human torch, chamber of fire. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's no horse birthing, but. No. He does that later. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they. He didn't make it, folks. They wash Gary Edelman's uh, Volvo with uh, <laughs> an anus. With, uh, Bring on the smooth jazz trio. I don't know. I, don't know. He's, I, I want to hire him. Well, let's fax From him Washington. first. I don't know that we needed the audience shot there. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a minor league baseball game yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh, he's signing autographs? Why isn't this autograph? This should be. It's humantorch.com. I'm surprised he got that website. Oh, yeah. That's All right, I'm gonna, I want to watch more of this. This might be a future. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, let's, say, let's sort of save side. some of this. I'm just going to pop in this um, hand-labeled ice storm. I always like when they, they uh, hand-label on masking tape. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. This could be the movie. I feel like 98 was when the Ang Lee movie came out, but this might be something else. So, let's just find out. Find out together what Nemo Ice Storm 98 is. Oh, the worst ice storm of the century. Oh. Governor Pataki, more than 700 crews, Niagara Mohawk. Oh, it's uh, a documentary yeah. about the ice storm. Okay, guys, this came in a plain white cover and I thought it was about tattoos. It is, but there's so much more. 
He put gold mine at the top. Ooh. First, nudity is everywhere, so don't play on VCR. Party <laughs> oh, <previewing>. man. <laughs> we'll, cut, we'll play it next week. It'll be blurred, but yeah. The previews at the beginning are great. Oh, can we play the previews? Uh, the body painting bit is salacious and titillating. Um, still no Tracy Lords, though. The piercing bit is of interest, and if you're looking for the thing to stop the show on and thank the audience for next tour, look around the 32 to 33 <laughs> mark. God, I He's love him so much. He's done his research. I love Bob so much. This one can't be from Bob. This has to be from somebody else. Oh. This is he goes, could this be the first time the Found Footage Festival shows a pierced scrotum? Oh, well, I think we have next goes, year's show. He goes, only you two know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I shouldn't pop this in, right? No, it's I... Called, it's called, here's, here's what the tape looks like. don't want to get another... Uh, Major Vision put a, a video called Body Art. There it is. And, you know, I'm going to preview it. Yeah. And uh, maybe there's some, some good... You uh, watch that, I'll watch Nude Putt Putt Golf, and we'll report back. Yeah. Okay. we got to screen these first. This is another Bob Hedges video. I could barely lift this. This is so heavy. Or Bob Hedges box, I should say. Ooh. Do you want, do, if you want to use my uh, box cutter, by all means. No, I've got the strength, the raw strength oh, to okay. do it on my own. Um. <laughs> he included a recipe book for Paul Prudhomme. <laughs> 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 Can you put up a picture of Nick at Red Robin? Uh, I don't know. You know Bob's a pilot, too. He gave us this introduction to the Boeing 767 Pilot's Handbook. Like, this is probably, like, legit, like, wow. what they have to actually, like, watch. Yeah. And look at what else it came with. It came with a, a business card of some sort, but then also some sort of a dial that might help you with international travel or something. Look at two Paul Prudhomme yeah. videos. <laughs> Chef Paul Prudhomme, let's pop in volume yeah. one. You can no, see... No bless you on that one? I just sneezed? Nope, we have an office policy of no yeah. bless you, as you know. Uh, yeah, here's Paul Prudhomme. This is what I look like in the unflattering photo you, you took of me at a Red Rock. You always like videos like this, like uh, doll collecting videos. Well, because I know that the people are going to be... Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Louisiana. This is where I work and play. This is where I have fun. I would like to invite you to spend some time with Red me. Robin that I'm about learning to go about to. cooking, <laughs> learning about eating, and, and learning about Louisiana. Up at a Red Robin. <laughs> We're sitting and walking around here in Acadiana Village to give you a feeling, a view of what it was like in the past. Uh, the Cajun people live close to the land. We had everything in abundance. I want to pop this in. Uh, we okay, had go the ahead. bayous. Yeah. Um, What's the video? This is, oh, sorry. Um, this is a, a, the doll video. Uh, collectible doll care. I don't know. We'll see. There's no note on this one, so I'm going to assume tedium. Here's another aliens one. Yeah, there's a lot of good alien stuff here. Okay. Here's your Prudhomme. We got those Prudhomme. Well, can't be talking about Halloween. Now, I know that after watching this video, you're going to want more information about some of the dolls oh, that we I've featured in one. it. And they are all made available by calling What's the woman's name? Yeah, I've seen this one. And be sure you tell them that Maurice these are Nicole? dolls you yes. see in the video. I have one. This particular one is called Madame Marguerite. She has beautiful glass eyes. I had a lot of fun creating her. I think she's very special. It's all these people in her family her. and on her staff talking about Madame how great Marguerite she is. Madame Marguerite is a, a beautiful old oh, yeah? fashioned. Yeah. She has two videos out. I think one's about how to clean and preserve dolls, and then that one, yeah. All right, I'll put that in your in your stack. Okay, here's uh, Adventures with Doodle the Clown. Bob, you know us too well. This is another clown video that he said could be uh, Blueberry's deranged sister. <laughs> so <laughs> let's try that one out. We're uh, we're over an hour here. What do you, what should we do? Keep doing what we're doing here. All right. Oh, yeah, but you're saying that we have the other thing yeah. that we have to do. Yeah. Well, if we do that, we well, could save that. Well, let's save that for next okay. week. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, okay, let's look at the... Uh, okay, it's cute. Here's Doodles the Clown. Doodle the Clown. <laughs> this is Doodle. Doodle goes to the dairy farm and watches it, witnesses a live birth. Seven years old. 
No, you're not. Magic is my hobby, but I love to learn new things. Hey, Turtle! Hey, Turtle! Hey, Turtle! Dido, we have a question. Oh, drinking Where milk? milk come from? Good question! Where'd my beer go? Oh, there it is. I'm not sure. Uh. I think it's a good time for an adventure to answer land to find out. See you soon. Ooh, I like that transition. Oh, answer land, that special place where boys and girls can go. Hey, you and caught me watching the horse's vulva. <laughs> Hi, I'm Don Johnson. You caught me watching the horse's vulva. Mr. Roger, you're at the dairy farm at answer land. The dairy farm? What the hell's a clown doing here on my farm? Get off or I'll get my 22. Well, you come to the right place. Just come with me and I'll show you. <laughs> Mr. Roger is taking Doodle down to the barn to clean it out for feeding. I like that the cows need a clean Mr. Roger is taking to Doodle down to the... <laughs> be relaxed when it's time to milk them. To milk them. Doodle, we'll take the trot to the barn and prepare for milking now. All right! <laughs> Do your right. impression of Doodle. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, okay. Do your impression of Doodle. All right! <laughs> Um, this one it just is a good title, Bob. Bob liked the title of this one. It's called, can you see this? Uh, yep. Wormin' with Woo. Wormin' with Woo. Lessons of Worm Fishing. Um, okay, so. <laughs> this is Mr. Rogers and Doodle. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me just hit pause. Um, so. Bob sent this one too. Easy Rider. Yeah, we have some. Oh yeah, Easy we got Rider a lot videos. of those. Tapes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think we've really watched many of them. Bro. No, I no. I think they're like softcore pornography, but they're not. I think it's just like ladies standing naked in front of a motorcycle. It's kind of bef before um, Girls Gone Wild. There's a lot of like flashing yeah. at motorcycle rallies. Um, he said uh, it's queued up to the three-minute raisin pie making scene. Don't show without watching, as there are breasts. <laughs> it would be a great short Patreon extra. Turns out raisin pie has its own biker slang meaning. Uh, so, all right, I think I know where this is going. Where? I don't know. Something dirty. Okay, something involving but, horse vulvas. Huh? But like something involving horse vulvas. But what? Like how dirty? How? I don't even know how it'd be raisin pie. I mean, it's a it's a reach, whatever it is. But I don't know. Oh, here's the safety video. Oh, For what? Federated Mutual Insurance Overtones, especially in the lot. Yes, here we go. Okay. All right, this is uh, Safety Pays. Check this out. Safety Pays. Here's another Shoji uh, Tabuchi video. God, we got to be leading the league in Shoji Tabuchis. Oh, yeah, we have so many. Um, where's your doodle case? I don't know. Let's <laughs> just, uh, we'll pick up the pieces later. <laughs> All right, here's uh, Safety for, uh oh, Safety First Get Trapped. Uh oh, shit. Oh no. Ooh, it's. This could be the end of uh, this episode of VCR Party. Oh, here we go. Oh. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, motherfucker, you. Oh, there we go. All right. Here we go. Yes. Lockout tape. Sure. That's what they do. I didn't lock it out. Begin on a close up of a mock. I figured, why should I? Hey, nobody was around. Out. And all of a sudden, the motor cranked up. The wheel started to spin. I lost my balance, and my leg got caught between the roller and the wheel. I'm thinking out loud right now. Hey, it was my buddy Joe who turned it on. But you know, it, it wasn't his fault. Who did he tell you? Know, he Himself? didn't want to stay there. I can't believe this happened. Oh, God, where does he get this stuff? It's incredible stuff here. Unfortunately, accidents like this happen all too often. But following established lockout got a tagout brain injury, procedures so he talks can to prevent all them. The time. No one can foresee unexpected startups. That's why you need to take precautions any time an unexpected startup <coughs> could cause an injury. For example, oh, fast forward. whenever you yeah. clean And then I, I have one I'm pretty excited about over yeah. here. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's a reading. Oh. On the power source. Oh, it's about locking it. Putting a danger sign on it. Oh, here, oh look at. 
Wait, wait. Reenaction of something. All right, here we go. Okay, this is promising. Caught in here. Hey, what are you doing? Before doing maintenance or making repairs, turn off equipment and then disconnect the power source. And then unplug it. That's true when you're working on the job or you at home. You don't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> with power tools, appliances. Let's see, some, let's see some blood. I want to see some injury reenactments. Yeah. Okay. There's a. So far, so good. Yeah. There's an assembly line. Getting hand caught. What's the music? Oh. Oh. oh John I'm Carpenter. Backing I'm backing it up. All right. Here we go. It's kind of like a picture, picture, but maybe hopefully done wrong. He's not looking. He's not looking. He's going to turn to green instead of red. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. The music is great. Oh, there's some more. Oh. Oh, yeah. He stops it. Yeah. Hi, I'm also Don Johnson. Hmm. I'm Don Johnson Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don Johnson's son. Okay, here we go. Video. Okay. Wow. Can I uh, pop this one in? You can prevent a coworker from act. <laughs> yeah. This oh, is called man. Put On Your Own Show Costuming and uh, Dancing for Kids. Bob said he queued this up to kids learning the robot, so this could be, this could be fun. And uh, educational. And then changes direction. Homemade. And like this, and changes direction. Like this, changes direction. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Ready? The best in the back. And I'm for it. One and change and one and change and a one. The change Backwards break. Hat, nah. One, two, three, four. Let's try both of those steps with music now. Ready? Oh, it's like baby rapper on the right. Here we go, robot. Can we find the human that's like baby te rapper? That's teenage baby rapper on the way right. <laughs> One more. It is. Here's the cool break. Teenage rapper. <laughs> Good. Should we try we it from the compass up step rapper. up to there? Good, let's try it. We have a break in there. Yeah. You got one? I got one. Here's the compass up and down. <laughs> oh, I like side, 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 and then up, side, oh. side, 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 oh, side, 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 Balloon oh sculpture. God. Balloon sculpture made easy with Tricky the Clown. I mean, we already watched the clown one. We don't need to watch yeah. another one. But that's Tricky the Clown. Tricky the Clown. I'm gonna um, rethink the name on that one. Hot Country Aerobics. Ooh. <coughs> I think we have that exercise oh, look at the tape. Back I of thought the we'd seen them all. Yeah, look at the back here. That's pretty good. I trick children. Um, but this is the one. The the title just made me laugh. Okay. Uh, it's it's unusually specific. Sugar Bush Management. <laughs> <laughs> It's a guide to improved sap production. Oh, so. a sugar bush is a type of maple tree, I guess? Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, that sounds right. Yeah, um, right. Bob wrote on the back, he said, I found a three-volume set of maple sap harvesting tapes, exclamation point. And he said, excitement, exclamation point. And he goes, just kidding, tedium. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're, we're not buying that for a second, Bob. <laughs> this one also looks good. Galileo Smith visits the solar system. <laughs> kind of reminds me of um, Magic Star Traveler yeah. a little bit. You know? A lot of green screen. He says it's trippy, astronomy, parades, dancing. Ooh. That's just the first two minutes. Let's pop Well, up. yeah, let's watch the first two minutes. Right. Parades, dancing. Yeah. And then we should probably wrap her yeah, up. Yeah, then we should wrap it up. All right. Oh, there's Doodle. Did you ever find the Doodle case? Uh, no, I got Don Johnson. Yeah. Art of a parade. Oh, we begin our safety video. With a drum majorette's baton. Far away from the sun, at the edge of the solar system. More maple sap processing. 
Pluto and its moon Charon have an orbit that looks like a twirling baton. Let's dance. <laughs> what? Pluto and Charon are like two dancers who always face each other. What? So weird. This makes their orbit look like the twirling motion of a baton. Oh. But the wild and crazy thing about Pluto is it may be completely frozen like a snowball. Chillin! Uh, a snowball through <gasps> paradise! But we won't know for sure what Pluto is really like until the Pluto Express spacecraft arrives there and sends back the first photos of the planet. And my name isn't Galileo Smith. Uh, okay, so here's some more. I got, I got to show some other stuff here. Yeah. Uh, it's a tedium alert. Even I didn't expect to find a VHS on Dutch elm disease. Oh boy, yeah. another tree disease? Dutch elm disease, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah does know. that go in plants or medical? Huh? Does that go classified as a plant or a medical? Um, do you want me to pop it in? We can find out. I mean, I assume it's uh, the plant. It's a, it's a tree disease, right? He said, easily the most tedious thing I've ever seen, and it was 99 cents, and I overpaid. 99, this is called uh, C-SPAN Archives, created by wow. Cable Off. You got the next 10 too. tedium corners all, all oh, ready I mean, to it's go. Just all, yeah. I got a lot of excitement in here, too. I mean, I don't know what's a good thing to end on. Safety in the Grove, safe citrus harvesting. Wow. I mean, these are all potential tediums. Um, this one looks excellent. Wrestling Queen, it's in one of those big things. Oh, is it big, a movie? Uh, yeah. See the Maids of Mayhem Masters of Massacre and the fans that make wrestling the fifth largest spectator sport in the world. Wow. Behind the scenes in the locker rooms. That looks really good. Uh, we could end it on that. Um, well, I've, uh, we could end on the... Um, the song about body parts again, if we want to end on that. I Kettle and Hot Stuff Safety? Oh, it's more, more safety stuff. You haven't even gotten through half of that box No, yet. it's massive. I mean, at least oh. everything's open. He said, I left this queued up to the earwax protocol section. Can you roll uh, Joe's Filth Corner? All right, I guess we're ending on Filth Corner. Uh, it's the one that has earwax on the bottom. Yeah, here, here it is. This is a... Uh, you mean... Uh, okay, ready? Yep. You got uh, Joe's Filth Corner coming up? Right, we got a wrap up. Yeah. Oh, Natural. Oh, yeah, yeah. Earplugs, you okay, can, ready? don't rewind. Huh? No, this is just. Okay. <laughs> you're rewinding what you missed. All right. So, Everybody with else your medical thought. personnel for the proper method of cleaning earwax. Yes. Naturally, if earplugs you use become damaged or dirty, get new ones. Reusable plugs that? can usually be worn uh, safely no, for about one to phone. six months. I do, but drawn out they must be kept clean. Yeah. But I, I, get, I usually get new Inspect ones. them for damage and store them in the case. Come on, let's get to the meat and potatoes here. You might want to save this for a future filth corner. Yeah, it's true. Well, we already rolled the filth corner. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, we got to find Legally, some you have to provide filth. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's right. There'd be a testing tra training oh, protection. You were right wow. in the middle of the ground. Come on, let's see some ears. Let's, let's see some let's, ears. <laughs> let's get in that ear. Oh, yeah, yeah, listen, listen for the tones. Tone number two. This is not a hearing test. Tone number three. Well, maybe we should end on the tones. <laughs> Tone number four. Can you hear this horse screaming? Tone number five. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> any difficulty with any of those tones? This isn't a hearing test. Look at but if you had <laughs> difficulty on Two men any of the, the tones, <laughs> you could be headed <laughs> for brother. a potential it's his clone. Thank you, and remember to protect your hearing. That's it. That's the whole video. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, 1983. Come on, I we gotta find a. I'd like to end on the um, anus song, if you don't mind. I oh, think that's oh, a good wait, way to go. Wait, 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 wait. George has got to go. One more thing. All right. It's a video about housekeeping. They spelled housekeeping wrong. <laughs> okay, that's house good. Housekeeping. <laughs> housekeeping. All right. We'll end on housekeeping. I think all the boxes were from Bob Hedges. But yeah. if you would like to send us a box, and if you find some tapes on eBay or Goodwill, send them our way. Our address, uh, give the lower third up. It's uh, orange or... 
I guess. It's yeah. up. Okay. That is our address. Why did you talk in the talk with lower thirds and oh yeah, I've been in the biz amniotic a, fluid. I've been and... in the biz a long time when you've been around the block. Okay. Uh, so we have so much more to go through. I mean, this is gonna last us the next year. Fucking a. This is 2020's crop right here. Oh, exactly. What's that? Couples contact conditioning tactics. Parts. Okay. You wanna watch it? No, let's watch four, this play. and uh, okay. we'll say. Uh, that's all. That's it. We'll that's be right back it. right after that. Every cha-chinging moment. And congrats to the. Uh, you say cha-ching, I say cha-chum. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Though it seems blunt, all boys have a penis. So no matter what you've heard, remember that penis is the proper word. Vulva is what girls have down below. Even though most people call it vagina, and some children call it Virginia. Vulva. When she's naked, it will show. All girls have a vulva, so no matter what you've heard, remember that vulva is the proper word. Both boys and girls have breasts. Each person recognizes they're found upon our chests and grow to different sizes. Our anus is a useful thing indeed. The anus gives relief in time of need. We all have an anus, so no matter what you've heard, remember that anus is the proper word. So don't be appalled, cause that's what they're called. And each of them's the proper word for private parts. The radius discomfort. <laughs> when we return, Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all, that's it. Let me see that one. We'll be right back right after that. <laughs>